Okay. Now for this one, it's a temperature conversion. Body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. What is this expressed in degrees C? Okay. So the first thing we need to know is the formula for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay. So um, you uh, should hopefully have this uh, memorized. The uh, temperature in Celsius is going to be equal to um, your uh, temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 to correct for the uh, freezing point, you know, zero degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit is 32. And then to change for the uh, the size, the um, there are five degrees uh, Celsius for every nine degrees Fahrenheit. So we can uh, remember the formula in that way. Or uh, you can also write this as, um, uh, I could have divided this by 1.8. Okay, that's what this fraction equals. If I divided by 1.8, that's the same as multiplying by 5 over 9. All right. So once we have this, we just plug in our 98.6, and I end up with 5 over 9 times 98.6 minus 32. And if I do this subtraction, uh, 98.6 minus 32, and I'll have 66.6, all right? So, 5 ninths times 66.6, .6, and I can go ahead and calculate that on the calculator. 5 divided by 9 times 66.6, .6, and I get an even 37 degrees, all right? And um, since I was given three significant figures, I'm going to go ahead and put a third significant figure there. Um, that's not necessary uh, on your part, but uh, I think um, I'll do that, okay? So, now we have um, the density of water may be expressed as 61.28 pounds per cubic foot. All right, so if I have a cubic foot of water, I, it weighs 61.28 pounds. That's how we read those units. All right, so how much does the water in a fish tank weigh if it contains 2.5 cubic feet of water? Okay. So cubic feet, that's what we have there. So we have 61.28 pounds per cubic foot, okay? And then that's our engine, if you will. And then the train car that we're attaching to that is um, simply the 2.5 cubic feet of water, okay? So, um, you could write this like so, 2.5 cubic feet, and if you like to see uh, some wheels under the train car, if you will, you can put a one there. But the cubic feet will cancel, and we'll just multiply this, all right? Now, note that that's the same thing as if you started with, well, I have 2.5 cubic feet of water, and you multiplied that by 61.28 pounds per cubic feet. It doesn't matter whether you have the 2.5 first or second. Um, you'll end up with the same result. Okay, so 61.28 times 2.5 and we have 153.2. And
and uh, the units here are pounds. Very important to show your units um, always in calculations. Okay, units, and then um, of course we show our work in uh, in class. All right. Now here, express your results in proper scientific notation. So we have an addition problem. And uh, there are some units there, but uh, they're both the same. So in the end, we're going to end up with milliliters as well. And when we add these, okay, if I um, just wrote it like this, 5.01 times 10 to the 2, okay, uh, these exponents are not the same. And so my decimal really isn't aligned there. All right, so what do I need to do? Let's make them both the same exponent. And we'll convert the smaller to the larger. And what we'll end up with is if we want to move this uh, four places to the right to get to uh, where it only has to go two places now, okay? So I have to be two places further back so what I'll end up with is um, uh, 0.0501, right? So now I move four places to get it to where here I only had to move two, okay? So times 10 to the fourth, and we add that. I'm going to rewrite that just so it's a little bit clearer here. 2.222 times 10 to the fourth. So this is my addition, all right? And of course, these are in milliliters. So I add this and I'm gonna get 2.2721, okay? Times 10 to the fourth milliliters. All right, so that's it for that one. And then here, um, Oh, and we should just verify that this is in proper scientific notation. We have the number, decimal, the rest of the numbers, times 10 to the fourth, we're in proper notation. Okay, now here we have a division. Okay, so when we're dividing numbers, what do we do with the exponents? We subtract them. All right, so we're just going to do the division part uh, first and then you know kind of split this into two parts and then uh, we, we're going to say this will be times 10 to the 16 minus 15 um, which will be of course 1. Okay. So first of all 2.222 divided by 5.01 divided by 5.01 and we get uh, 0.4435, okay? Other numbers there, but we don't need to go more than um, what we're given here, okay? So it was 0 0.4435, okay? And then we said this is times 10 to the 1 is what that amounts to. And we want to put this one in proper scientific notation. So we're going to go ahead and put in that times 10 to the 1. And so it's just going to be 4.435. And since we are asking for it in proper scientific notation, I mean, this is the right answer. But we're going to say times 10 to the 0, indicating that we don't have to move it anymore. Because 16 minus 15 is 1. So that's times 10 to the 1, which moves it right to that place. Now it's times 10 to the 0, right? Then we just throw in our units, and there is our answer. All right, so that concludes the first test.